Hi friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to understand operations management and under that project management part 1, we are going to take it. So we need to understand why exactly we need project management and then defining specifics for that of phases and out of all the phases, we are going to take one phase in this part that is called as initiating. So we need to have a purpose of our project management like if we want to achieve the desired result then we need to have a project management to get the things done in a systematic way. So certain specifics for the project management can be uh, to achieve a tangible result which is relatively a much holistic complex from the customer requirement point of view and if it is a time bound where there is a lot of stress that is involved then it's better to have a systematic approach. If there is complex work groups like you know certain people are from uh, United States, certain people are from China, certain people are from India. So when you are having a very complex of different cultures, work groups, then it makes a lot of sense to have a typical project management structure. Then we need to also have change management because we know that after we started a project there can be certain changes that is coming from internal source or from an external source. We need to be very very clear in managing those particular changes, in implementing those things so that the customer satisfaction is not going to be hampered because of these particular changes when we are doing the project management. And then risk management also we need to take into consideration. So whatever the financial risks that are there like with respect to the profits and also the turnover and apart from that from the technical point of view whether certain product design itself is feasible to manufacture or not whether we can easily able to market and sell that particular thing in the market or not. So all these things put together plays a very important role in a typical project management application. When we talk about phases, we need to always have a scope and then we need to balance between the quality cost and also the time. So here there are various phases like initiating phase and then we need to have planning, execution, then control and finally we need to close this particular project also. So when we talk about the initiating phase of a particular project management, we need to understand the requirements and develop a project charter. So requirements capturing plays a very important role because if we go wrong here, then the subsequent steps is going to go significantly in a wrong way and finally customer is going to be not only satisfied but he is going to be shocked for creating a blunder. So we need to be very clear in understanding the implicit and explicit requirements. That means to say the specified and the non-specified which is considered to be as understood requirements. And then we need to develop a project charter which gives some kind of a scope and a direction of where the complete project team is heading towards. This is an example of a project charter, however it can vary depends on project to project. Uh, we need to have a project vision clear, like what is that we want to achieve, where are we going towards. The complete project team, we need to get their buy-in from them, we need to get their agreement from this point of view. And then we need to have a typical project structure like whom we have to report or what's the budget and all going to happen, what are all the risks that are going to be anticipated, what are all the finance that is needed for this particular project, everything we need to have before we start the project management itself. And we need to also have an implementation plan and what are all the things that can be done in parallel so that we can be much much quicker and what are all the things that has to be done in series so that we can have a lot of effectiveness level and also we can address the leaking issues that's going to be there in the project. So once we have all the things a typical project management can be done so remaining phases is going to be told in the next video. So in this video we talked about the importance of project management and why we need to have that what are all the different phases a project management is going to have a specifics of all the project management aspects. So that's all in this video. Thank you so much.